Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for joining me once again. Just a quick one today, just a short vid. Um, <laughs> a bit nervous about mentioning this, but um, our friends at Border Model have recently issued some more photographs of the finished Lancaster that some uh, very skilled, in fairness, very skilled modeler has done for them. Um, don't know any more about it other than uh, <laughs> they say it's going to come here one day. We shall see about that. I don't know either way. I, I don't know. But I'm a bit sceptical the way things seem to be going at the moment. But there are several uh, retailers in the UK that have it on uh, pre-order at about £620. Oh, which is quite a lot of money. Anyway, um, bear that in mind. Um, whether it comes or not. Whether, whether I would want to put money down as a pre-order on this one, I don't know. But anyway, I'm not going to comment further on that. just want to show the pictures because they are, they are quite impressive and it does look really quite special. So let me just zoom you in here and you can have a straight look at this immediately. Uh, this looks, yeah, fantastic in fairness. It really does. So this is the, uh, it's modelled on the Phantom of the Ruhr, which used to be the, the markings of the um, Battle of Britain Memorial Squadron, um, based at Collingsby in Lincolnshire in the UK. Whoops. Um, and we have got several uh, photos that they've actually released here and it does look pretty special look at this engine detail yep it looks very nice look at this cockpit wow something that did strike me though when I saw this photograph I don't know what the viewers think but it struck me straight away was this um, it's like a Venetian blind here now, I don't think that was actually on the day-to-day -day operational aircraft in World War II. And I know it certainly is on the one that's at uh, the Battle of Britain Memorial Flight. Um, because obviously they fly in daylight and they, uh, they need that protection because it's like being in a great big greenhouse, quite frankly. <laughs> uh, it must get pretty warm in there you know and they have this blind they pull across but I'm not convinced that they were they were ever on the aircraft during the war I'm not saying it wasn't on any aircraft I'm just saying I don't think they were standard equipment on every aircraft because they were flying at night most of the time it was almost all night raids so why would they need that they absolutely wouldn't need it maybe from protection from the moon glare from the moon don't know anyway if anybody knows for sure I'd like to see it please comment below but you can see some of the texturing they've done uh, this is the one, don't forget, where it's got the seat belts all more pre-moulded into the actual seat. Uh, so it's all in plastic, but looks pretty good in fairness. So, what do we think then? I think it's looking quite sharp. Whoever's done this for them, it's a little bit more of a high standard modelling job than we see from Ravel, isn't it? <laughs> and there's your top turret. And, yeah... There's uh, some really nicely uh, done weathering the uh, streak effects from the the lead build up in the exhaust because this was very heavily leaded fuel of course. And you can see that effect has been so beautifully achieved here. You'll zoom in a bit more. Really, really remarkable. That's very, very nice. So whoever the modeler is that's done this work for them, I'm not sure who actually the commission to do it, but he's done an excellent job. Um, again, you can see this uh, Phantom of the Roar marking on the side of the cockpit. You can also see there some of the instrumentation in the background. It does look pretty special. Quite impressive, in fairness. Not sure about this, uh, this appearance of like a gap in front of the, of the canopy. I'm not quite sure about that. That seems a little odd to me. Am I missing something here? Is that, is that correct? Not sure at all. Um, yeah, some more shots of the, the side, and you can see this staining from the, uh, as I mentioned, the lead from the Merlin exhausts. Looks really, really nice. I mean, it's beautiful, you know, there's no question about it. <laughs> it's a stunning example. And the weathering that's been done, very faint chipping on this model as well, which you can make out here, especially on the, the bomb doors. Another shot somewhere, you can really see that very, very well. Nice though, isn't it? You know, there's, no, there's nothing wrong with it, um, apart from the price and the availability, I guess. Yeah, here we go. 
So look at this now. I'm just going to move the camera so slightly, the screen I should say. Look at the chipping effect on here. Done that very, very nicely. It's very impressive. Isn't it? Wow. Yes, it's quite a creepy image, the, the phantom in its cloak dropping bombs onto the rear. Very well done. And that's it, I guess. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to show, share those with you because I um, picked them up on Borders' uh, Facebook page. Just wonder what people think of that. Um, it'd be nice if we got some concrete information from them about when we're actually going to see this model finally. It'd be, uh, be good to know that, wouldn't it? And if it's going to be available and how many and who will have stock, etc. But it's probably not one for me, if I'm honest, because it's. Uh, too expensive, too big, too impractical. Imagine how many, I mean I'm not a fast builder at the best of times, you know, I can take six months to build a motorbike, how long did, would that take me? <laughs> six years probably. <laughs> yeah, a bit, bit too uh, OTT for me. But anyway, I thought you found it interesting. Hope you like that, found it a little bit interesting yourself. Nice to see that there are some, there is at least one who's been finished. Um, whether there are actually any more than one, we shall find out later. Anyway. Hope you enjoyed the vid, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and if you have subscribed, ding the notification bell for more videos coming up in the very near future and until next time, please take care of yourselves, hope to see you all again very very soon, thanks for your time, thanks a lot and bye for now.